China, there's a new player making waves. So while in Shanghai, we caught up with Next Gen Star, Wu Yibing. Ten years ago, I was here with my team, and everyone come here just to watch the match. And now I can play in the center court. That was, I enjoy a lot. Returning to China after a successful season in the juniors, the youngster has come a long way through ATP events to compete at a Masters 1000. At first was Australia Open. The, the first time I reached semi-final in Brazil, I think that gave me a lot of like confidence. And later I won a Futures in clay. I don't know how, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't really like clay court. That was, I think it's not for me. But I tried to play hard and try to be focused. I done it. Then came the US Open. Before that tournament, I just want to finish my junior career like better like, like what I think. I was thinking maybe I can do it both, and finally I did it. And I rest up my ranking. That was, I think for me, it's very happy to end my junior career, yeah. With a higher ranking, Yi Bing began playing on the ATP Challenger Tour. And in Shanghai, just before the Masters 1000 event, he won his first title on the circuit. Just like many before him, Wu Yi Bing takes inspiration from one particular legend. Roger. <laughs> Everyone wants to be him, I think. It's not only Federer he admires. Chinese sports legend Li Na is amongst the homegrown role models who've paved the way as Wu Yi Bing embarks on his career. I think she gives lots of confidence to Chinese sports and Yao Ming also. And I think this, these guys it's try to hold all the China going up. So they must have a very strong mentor. You know, I want to be same like them. Yeah. There's a pride in China for their sports stars. And for Wu Yi Bing, home support means everything. I think I enjoy when they support me when I win and when I make a good shot, they clapping and they ooh, I don't know how to sing it. I enjoy. I like people who come to me and support me. Expectations are high for the young Chinese hope. Playing his first round match in Shanghai against a man he grew up watching, Gilles Simon, was a breakthrough moment. But it's only just the start. Ten years ago, I, I'm being here. I watch his match, the top players, and I want to play them more and try to get the same level. Many thanks to Steve Johnson. So next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're in Antwerp, Moscow, and Stockholm. And Maron Cilic looks forward to peaking at the right time as the season reaches its climax. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.